And all of a sudden, these guardians, these watchers are all around us. And I got this sense that they were angry, that they had kind of made this exception that this mere human could maybe see this stuff. Hi, my name is Andy Astra. I'm the creator of Spooky Girl Art. And this is the story of the time I took mushrooms and saw the inner workings of the universe. So one thing about me is I'm incredibly sensitive to psychedelics. I think most people wouldn't expect that of me given the nature of my work and just the environment that I'm in all the time. I think people assume I take a lot of psychedelics. I tend to take them very strategically when I'm looking for a level up moment in my life. I was, I was going into this kind of looking for some answers. And my friends and I had planned a trip up to the North Shore of Oahu where we all lived. So everybody's divvying out the mushrooms. I went out to the beach right out where I could look at the stars and I, I sat down and I, I asked the universe, I said, okay, I'm ready. I want to see how it works. I'd asked for a spirit guide to come forward and kind of show me. And kind of immediately I sensed this response and I had one of my spirit guides come forward. Um, and he kind of looked like a, one of those biblically accurate angels that you always see on the internet, <laughs> kind of scary, but you know, I felt kind of comfortable with this presence. So I, I was ready and my guide comes forward and says, okay. Let's go. And before I knew it, I felt myself blasting through the cosmos. And then we get to this part in, in space where there's these like portal mirrors kind of all floating around and they all had kind of tech around the outside of them. It was very strange. And they were all being guarded by these entities that kind of looked like spinning tops. They were all piled on top of each other and had all these eyes, kind of scary. And so my guide who I was with kind of goes up to these guardians and is having an interaction with them and something along the lines of, I'm probably not supposed to be here, you know, maybe not supposed to see any of this, but my guide is making a case for me. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on, but somehow we go past. So we go up to one of these portals and my guide directs me to look through one of them. It looked mostly like I was in a jungle or in a, a big forest with these big botanicals. But when I looked closer, I could see these like seams going up through everything. And I, I realized everything was made out of plastic or like this synthetic material, even the ground that we were standing on. It was so insane to me, like still thinking about it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And it was my first sense that maybe I was in a little bit over my head. I, I didn't really know what was going on. My brain was like trying to make sense of it. Before I could protest or say anything, I felt myself kind of pulled out of that portal and dunked into another one. And the next one was an, another world full of plants, botanicals, but this time they were huge. They were enormous. And I could tell immediately that they were like monsters. They had teeth and, and tentacles and they like looked like the flower from Jumanji, you know, scary stuff. And I just felt this sinking feeling in my stomach, like, like I was at a haunted house. And I turned to my guide and I was like, you know what? I'm good. I thought I, thought I could do this, but you know, maybe, I, maybe I'm not ready. You know, I was immediately feeling humbled. And again, I kind of got this sense of, of humor of like laughing from my guide from the universe, like, yeah, you know, like, what did you think? What did you think? And so I, I'm pulled out of that portal and I'm, I'm in that kind of space again with all these different portals kind of hovering around. And all of a sudden these guardians, these watchers are all around us. And I got this sense that they were like angry, that they had kind of made this exception that this mere human could maybe see this stuff and I wasn't appreciating it or I wanted to leave already and I was scared. So my guide kind of, again, is advocating for me. I was pulled out of that one and my spirit guide kind of gathered me up and shot me back to myself. I remember feeling like I could see myself sitting on the beach from far away. And I kind of came back into my body. And, you know, who knows how much time had passed, probably minutes. You know, with this deep sense of being unsettled, like crawled my way to the bushes. My friends are all having a good time over here, still uh, totally unaware. Crawl my way to the bushes, like throw up into the bushes. I come back to my friends. And of course, I can't tell them anything that happened because they're all just having a good time, you know, looking at the stars, playing the guitar or whatever. I still don't even really know what I saw, but whatever it was, just the tip of the iceberg, I was so freaked out and so afraid. It made me so uncomfortable. I literally felt sick. That was my ego talking, my ego saying, I want to understand how everything works, when so much of it is really not even for us to understand. Even if we are presented with this information, you know, we're just people. So, so much of our journey, I think, is about being a human and enjoying what that is. And, you know, we could spend our whole lives trying to figure out how everything works. But we could also spend our whole lives just having fun and figuring out how we work as people. So it was definitely an experience I will not forget. Tales from the...